at that uh, event, uh, Nokia, I believe, stood out. Uh, for example, uh, Nokia demonstrated that it's compliant with BABA, that is Buy America, Build America uh, requirements, that when Congress passed you know, some of the recent funding bills for digital demand uh, reduction, for example, to, that is looking at ways to meet underserved or uh, unserved uh, markets with broadband builds. And so definitely they're interested in having uh, products that are built in the U.S. to meet you know, these U.S. broadband demands. So that's only natural. But in addition to that, uh, Nokia introduced a 25G PON starter kit that's aimed at 10 gig plus service opportunities. Uh, also, they unveiled its Cortica home connectivity software aimed at monetizing and improving the overall broadband experience. And this is particularly relevant, uh, for, for example, to hybrid workforce environments. Now that more and more people are working from home, clearly the organizations need to have, you know, not only high speed connections to the home that uh, is now part of the, uh, their workforce, but also have security assurance and so forth built in. And this is where fiber can make a huge difference. Also, uh, they expanded their network in a box program and also strengthened their existing manufacturing presence in the U.S. Uh, through uh, deals with Sanmina in Wisconsin, as well as Fabernet in California. And so that's a lot right there. But in addition to that, Todd, what do you see Nokia doing to really up their fiber game when it comes to 5G builds? Well, that's those are great points. But Nokia in Vodafone began in 2021 to trial PON technology, passive optical network. Um, this delivers record speeds of up to 100 gigabytes a, gigabits a second on a single PON wavelength. This is 40 times faster than widely deployed gigabit PON technology and 10 times faster than the most widely advanced fiber networks in operation today. That's a giant jump. That's a giant performance jump. So this trial to, to me shows that there are no limits to fiber networks. The, the amount of performance that we're going to get out of these, I don't think there's any limit to it. It's just going to keep getting more uh, better and faster. There are huge capacity. Oh, yeah. yeah. Their huge capacity potential and wide availability can transform fiber into a unifying infrastructure that connects everything, consumers, businesses, smart cities, 5G cells, and more. And one of the things that we don't talk about that much is how fiber can bring service to places that aren't getting service, rural areas, uh, you know, remote areas. I think that fiber could be the answer in these places. Finally, we've been looking for this for what, two decades, a decade. So I think this is a big deal. Oh, I, I agree unequivocally. Can you say future proof? Because as you can see right now, the industry in the U.S. at least is certainly focused on, for example, 25G PON. But knowing that there is 100G PON capabilities further out definitely, I think, gives more confidence in investing in you know, the PON infrastructure that is quite simply essential to yeah. you know, the ability of 5G to serve you know, these uh, difficult to reach areas. And uh, this is all I think uh, coming together more, I think, again, to your point, the bead funding uh, that Congress authorized will help drive uh, some of this, certainly over the next uh, a few years. I, I, I agree accordingly. Yeah, and, 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 this was, and this is a standard. I mean, there's so many other disparate systems. Every provider wants to work on fiber. So this is like a unifying theme that's going to make it finally happen, I think. I, I don't think that's unreasonable to think that. Sure. No, I, I, I think that's an excellent point. It's uh, the flexibility of fiber. At least some of these fiber platforms can handle multiple capabilities on a single unit or a single platform. And that includes certainly 5G small cell backhaul, but in addition to you know, business to business connections and a host of other you know, uh, requirements 